So we will just restart. Login as Pi. Login with our password. Clear the screen. And we'll just make this a little bit bigger. So we'll just run apt get update. And once that's done, then we will run uh, the apt get install command. Then we will just clear the screen and run apt get install. GPSD and GPSD clients. And this may take a while as well, which may be because the mirrors may be quite a bit slow. So just be patient as it will most likely be quite slow. So now that it has been installed, which took around two minutes. Just clear the screen and then we'll just connect the GPS device to the Raspberry Pi. And then you can run DMESC and then you can take a look to see if it has been connected, for example, with these messages here. And you can see that this is what we're looking for. It's TTY USB zero. So if we just take a look at LSUSB as well, we can see it here too. But the most important thing is that we need to know the device name AK slash dev slash TTY USB zero. And we can even confirm it as follows. So once we know that, we can run sudo nano etc default gpsd. And in this directory, we'll need to start the daemon automatically because we want it to start up as soon as we power on the system. And yes, we want to make it automatically recognize the GPS device. Here we will need to specify the USB device. And here we want to pass the argument n and press Ctrl O, Ctrl X. Now the dash N option is quite important because it makes it a lot easier to troubleshoot and wait and do. Because basically it doesn't wait to connect before polling. So you can you can see it here. You can see that in the man page. So it's a lot more efficient and it's a lot more faster to do it that way. So just Add the dash in option, it will save you a lot of hassle. So the next thing that you want to do is that you want to run service GPS D and then restart. And then you will just confirm that it's running down here. Now if it's running correctly, it will say dash capital N and then lowercase n and then the USB device here. If it is, then you can confirm that it's working with GPS Mon. So in this case, it hasn't found a location yet, but you should be able to see it around here, including your velocity, some other stuff over here. And I assume these are the satellites channel 0 to 11 in this case. So if you move the uh, GPS antenna outside, then it should most likely pick up the satellites. But since this GPS antenna is inside, then it will probably not work. So in that case, you just have to uh, move outside or move closer to a window maybe. But even sitting right next to a window may block the signal. But you can, I think this is the data rate. So you can see it has found one satellite but it's not enough because it generally needs three satellites to get a signal lock or position. So that's pretty easy. That's basically all you need to do with the GPS man or GPS stuff. The, the next part is a little bit more complicated 
as we will need to disable some default functionality in Raspberry Pi to work with our radio, or not radio, our wireless alpha card, and then we will need to set up Kismet as well and make it auto run, which is the tricky part.